What's happening YouTube and welcome back uh, a little bit quicker than our previous video. Um, last week we went over to an old abandoned uh, railway and we've been taking photos with the Roto. Again tonight um, we're going to, well I'm going to introduce you to another product I use, another travel LED light which I find incredibly beneficial to have on my bag. It's small, it's portable, it's chargeable, um, it's everything you need for a lamp and it's RGB. Um, you can um, you can control it by your, your phone through Bluetooth as well. Um, so we're gonna get that out as well. We are in um, Habley Valley, um, just inside of Budley, uh, on top of a massive rock. I've got all my Roto lights with me, the two Neo 2s and the AOS. Uh, we're gonna do some portrait shots um, on top of the rock. We've got some really nice leading lines um, from where people have basically walked up and down the, up and down the big rock. So let's just have a look at the, uh, the light. So the light comes in this nice little packet and if we open it up we get we get that and that is the size of it so get in focus that is the little light that we've got uh, we've got if you turn it on we've got loads of different colours and it is really really bright and really really fancy so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this today get some real decent sort of use it in the background just to illuminate the rock the rock we're on is this really big really big rock and that is our that is our view we have got we've got the boys back again so we've got we've got Dan and Snakey and my brother over there so Snakey's doing some drone shots for us um, just to add some of the for the b-roll and the introductory and going forward so what we're going to do is i'm going to get the uh, aperture light up um we're going to get the rotor light set up again we're going to be utilizing the um the camera stands because if you look at the ground it is incredibly incredibly bumpy uh, and the benefit of the like i said last week the benefit of these stands it's going to allow me to move legs to a 45 30 degree angle just to get a good stable base uh, and then we're going to get the aperture again. I'll turn it on. We'll go through some settings so you can see the benefit of it as well. So let's just get set up. Leg up, leg down. I need to get that fucking back around in. Keep thinking that I do that could have done something, but now I'm left with an empty heart. No waking up. <laughs> From his look there, I was like, <laughs> no waking up beside <laughs> yeah. you. Right. Holding you till we forget it all. How does it feel to play your role, Ant? This is how he looks when he's on the Try not the way you look, can you, man? <laughs> now this is a monumental moment in life where Daniel has now become a master chi. Teaching I am, I am someone. I a teacher, to be fair. Not a very, a good, very good one. <laughs> we are. I'm we a are good watching, actor as well. <laughs> we are watching. We are watching Dan teach photography. After everything I've taught him, let's see if. Uh, well, yeah. If it's work. If you've taught me, Craig, it's downhill from here, isn't it? So, <laughs> <laughs> it's on top here. That's what you want to push. Look at this. So you can't zoom in on that. Like peas in a pod. Snakey with the nifty 50 is a prime lens. If you want to zoom in, you've got to walk forwards. <laughs> and I would advise <laughs> you a big drop there. Man. And walking forwards would denote. Couldn't get close enough to the drop. Uh, yeah, walking forwards ends up down there. So, don't do it. Um, every every time lapse, yeah. 
So, we have set up a little time lapse, taking numerous photos because if you look over there, the moon is just just in, in the distance, so it's just coming out. So we set up the time lapse um, just to get some, get a nice little goopsy. It's not focusing now. You'll contrast your skin, down it won't don't it's like just, it. It's just, yeah. It doesn't have a wearing grey either, does it? <laughs> oh, there you go. Look how he blends into the night sky. <laughs> it feels on the white cliffs. It's so small though. <laughs> <laughs> it feels on the white cliffs of Dover, but we didn't see him at all. I've got that as well. It's really good, you know. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gents, for those who don't know, if Dan went past White Cliffs of Dover, he would disappear. If I was German, you know, we'd have won this war, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> sneaky sneaky! Um, right, so unfortunately we, we lost light a little bit too quickly and we, we lost our tracks uh, and the footing underground is a bit too too uh, too higgery piggery so we've we've come back back to the cars. As you can see I've got the AOS um, shine on me so again we're able with the, the LED AOS light to continue filming and take some photos. Uh, I have got the aperture light here, um, if we just flick it on a sec, uh, there it is. So there's the aperture light there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some car shots of Dan's, um, Dan in his car. We're gonna stick this in the car itself to give it a blue atmosphere, because it is a blue car. Use the AOS to trigger it. We're gonna get some photos, um, photos with that basically, and see how it looks. So um, we're gonna turn around, get set up. We're gonna be another 10, 15 minutes, and we'll wrap everything up. Um, so we'll see you in a second. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? No one can save us, save us from keeping clean As you can quite clearly see guys, it is pitch black now and that is it from myself, uh, Dan and, and Snakey um, for this week. Next week we're going to find a new location and maybe try and change up to landscapes uh, and use the AOS. We've got loads of AOS photo, uh, uh, loads of photos using the AOS and the uh, aperture light using Dan's car. Um, but that is it from us. So don't forget to like and subscribe for further updates and vlogs like this. I'll see you next time.